the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 127 Ecclesiastes 1-3 Effort and useless effort In the last days of Solomon, who had enjoyed great wisdom, wealth, and prosperity, than anyone else, the confession that everything was meaningless was lifted. First point. For the first half of his rule, Solomon's achievements were fruitful, and for the second half, his achievements were futile. During his early rule, Solomon prayed for wisdom to God, and with the wisdom given from God, Solomon was able to understand the heart of the mother who was fighting for her son and also constructed the Jerusalem temple prepared by his father David. But towards the latter part of his rule, Solomon shifted away from a kingdom of priests and started to concentrate on his own business. But in the end, Solomon realized that this was all meaningless. Second point, Solomon said all was meaningless based on four broad points. Solomon, who was ever so wise, wrote in his later years that all things are meaningless countless times. This was based on four points. The first was that all human efforts away from God were meaningless. The second was that although nature is lasting, Human life is short. The third was that human desires are endless. The fourth was that nothing is new under the sun and everything is simply repeated. Although Solomon was full of regret, he still managed to gather his wisdom before he died and recorded Ecclesiastes after Proverbs. Third point. Solomon claimed that wisdom without God is worthless wisdom. Human wisdom is eventually meaningless. This is because human wisdom is incredibly limited. Then I applied myself to the understanding of wisdom and also of madness and folly, but I learned that this, too, is a chasing after the wind. Solomon, who had more wisdom than anyone else, confessed this. He confessed that all human efforts away from God are completely meaningless. Solomon realized that his life away from God was totally empty and meaningless. Fourth point, Solomon claimed that human glory without God is just empty joy. Human joy is only short pleasure. Solomon was someone who did not seek short-term pleasure. He tried hard to experience happiness, but in the end, he confessed that this was all meaningless. Solomon had countless servants and wealth. In other words, not a single human being on this earth has experienced more wealth or pleasure than Solomon. But Solomon, who experienced wealth and pleasure, to this extent confessed that all was totally meaningless. Solomon also confessed that through death, he realized all the more that all human pleasures are meaningless. Fifth point, humans can overcome meaninglessness if they believe in God. Solomon, who had the greatest wisdom, said that all things have a time and place. Humans have limited days on this earth. Humans are finite, whereas God is infinite. That is why God wants us to know that in our finite lives, we must know that there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot 
a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. God has decided a time for us also. We must live according to God's decided time. That is why a wise person uses their time Effectively. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tong Doc app. The Tong Doc app is not like any other app in the world today, as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zoe is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.